Welcome and hello. Let's talk the news. Today is June 25th, 2024. Russia is suffering from attacks from within its own country. Across the southern Dagestan region, there's been a series of attacks thought to be coordinated that killed 20 people. This isn't the first that the area nor Russia has suffered from internal conflict during the Ukraine conflict, and this marks the second terror attack in just three months. The video on my side was captured by East to West and shared by various news organizations. Putin has had talks already to discuss the attacks with the head of Dagestan, Sergei Melikov, and I suppose we'll see if he's imprisoned, poisoned, or praising Putin by the end of said talks. Though for now, Sergei, Sergei just has removed an official because those sons of that official are thought to be responsible for these attacks. You might think that all Panthers are good at is becoming friends with singing bears and helicopter parenting young humans. However, they can also play hockey. 2024 marks the winning of the Stanley Cup by the Florida Panthers. I don't follow professional sports, but I do like large cats, so good on you. My only question is, how? How do you get Panthers to put on ice skates, carry hockey sticks? How? Just how? Maybe we'll just never know. And the EU takes another bite out of Apple for violating their Digital Markets Act. This act, which started just this year, attempts to make sure that big tech companies aren't big a-holes. It's designed to keep collectors of digital goods from utilizing that large source of content to create unfair competition, while including measures to restrict how data is collected. Messaging service practices and failure to comply can lead to fines or even forced offloading of assets. The alternative is not having this part of your business in the EU. This isn't the first time Apple has struggled in the EU where their anti-anti-competition laws are robust and enforced making us here in the USA never fearing their de departure from our easy-peasy, lemon-squeezy regulatory environment, allowing you to lie, steal data, and lose it to hackers as often as you seemingly like, with virtually no penalty at all. Let's move on to another great love story for the United States. What mass shootings happened yesterday? In York, Pennsylvania, on the 600 block of West Market Street, four people are injured, one of, who is a teen one of whom is a teenager, when the suspect shot them and fled in what was thought to be a stolen vehicle. And in Dayton, Ohio, at 1530 Home Avenue, six people were injured, one person killed, when a crowd of people gathered uh, were shot at during a drive-by shooting. This has happened before in Dayton, and the police are warning against these large 50 to 100 person gatherings. And let's end on a controversial topic. Sliced bread isn't a great invention. Now all of us who grab a nice loaf, tear off a chunk of it, and shove it into our faces are shamed for doing so, both in public and in private. If you care about humanity, you should always get your bread unsliced. Use a knife for God's sakes if you want it sliced later. Don't let others tell you how thick or straight your bread needs to be. It all becomes poop in the end no matter what your sliced jour. Do you prefer your bread pre-sliced like a psycho? Well, put it in the comments if you do.